What's up, it's Jess with Recovery Diaries. We're out here for the Sheiky Hill today. I have her mother, Miss Georgia Hill, here. She has some words for you. Yes, yes, yes. I'm in front of the house that my daughter was reportedly last seen. Well, coming with some other people. I was told that she left with some people from here. Now, and then he get a phone call later on saying that she's dead. So, where is she? If she he called, she, this girl called and told her boyfriend that she's dead. Where is my daughter? So, this is the last house I was told this morning that I know of she left. Not still, not including the one on, on Douglas. Because on Douglas, you can't see her leaving that one. So, how did, so I don't know what all went on here. But this is, she was here. But she come up missing too. So, I don't know what this, what kind of game this is, but. Ugh. So again, we're out here. We're out here walking for Lashiki Hill right now. We want to get some answers. We want to know why the police ain't out here. If she was white, that, she, that the cops would be out here. So we're out here doing something, trying to figure out what happened to this woman's child. Stay tuned. It's a blast. It's a blast. No, they check this too. They check this door. Okay. Ah, uh, it was locked. It's locked again. One day I came here, it was unlocked. I went in. It's the so why did it get open? Well, my daughter was missing. This thing right here, they got a camera with a little blue car pulled there. Yeah, he's all good, boy. Wait. Hey. Where's Shaky? Excuse me. Use us. And that deal right there. Look, he's trying to run. And who is he? Where's my story? Where is she? All we want to do is talk. Uh, can we just talk, see, please? She's someone's daughter. She if you just children. tell her where, where she, she is. is. You're the last one. Can you please one. tell us where she is? You know. Last one, see, The FBI has been called. You know. Fuck ass bitch. Oh, I can't stand that motherfucking mm. whole ass, ass mm. nigga. Come on. Motherfucker. Yeah, he know, he know something. Yeah, he, he got, he know. He know something. Like ass bitch, fuck ass. Sticking a booty ass bitch. All right, right? so we're just walk, uh, finishing up our walk today for Shiki Hill. Uh, we didn't get the answers that we are finding today, but we're not going to give up. I'm going to let Miss Georgia take it over from here, and we will be back. Yes, I might not got the answer I wanted today. But I'm not giving up. This one mother, right, wrong child, right mother. I'm gonna keep on till I find my daughter. And I don't care what y'all saying. If somebody knows something, please talk. Please talk. And I'm not giving up, I repeat, not giving up. You can't stop me. Y'all, that's have a good day and goodbye. <laughs> what up YouTube, it's Jess with Recovery Diaries. And I just wanted to say thank you to everybody that came out yesterday to help support the walk for Shiki Hill. Um, what makes me upset, though, is that people stigmatize drug addicts. So this poor mother is searching for her child's body. She said deep down she knows her child is gone and she just wants that closure. So when we walked yesterday, that's all she said. She just kept saying, I know my child's gone. I just want to find that closure for a proper burial and give Shiki's son some closure. He's only 12, you guys. That's the fucked up part about being an addict, though, or in recovery. We're going to be labeled as garbage for the rest of our lives. And... If something happened to Shiki, like if somebody gave her some bad shit and she overdosed or something and they got scared, that was an accident. Y'all could have called 911 and left the scene of the, the crime or whatever. But now, it's been 30 days today that this young lady has been missing. 
a day before her birthday, y'all. Okay. So 30 days this woman has been missing. People aren't looking for her because they label us as drug addicts. People are telling this lady's mother that she is dead and that they threw her body at the bottom of Lake Michigan, okay? You guys, we have to do better as a community. If you know something, if you know something, call Crime Stoppers, y'all, okay? There's a reward out here. Just let this mother lay her daughter to rest, okay? Somebody has to know something. When I was down there, everybody knew everybody down there. It was kind of cool, actually. I felt safe. I felt secure when I was walking with these women. And I just couldn't stop saying, like, this is crazy. This is just so sad. So, y'all, these are some clips from yesterday. Please be cautious. There are some cuss words in here. But this is this lady's child. And I wouldn't expect anything different, okay? Please stay tuned for the next videos. I'm gonna continue to help this woman. I don't care what happens through the process of this. This woman is somebody's child, you guys. What if this was you? I hate to say it, but if she was white, I think there would be a lot more people out there looking for her. And I can say that because I'm white. And I don't judge anybody for who they are, what they've done. I've done some shit too, okay? I'm not perfect, but all I can say is that this lady has a child. She has grandbabies. She has a mother out here looking for her. Let's help. Come on, you guys. Somebody knows something. If it was an accident, just say so. But now, after 30 days, it's more than an accident if you're hiding shit. Please just, if you know anything, please call Crime Stoppers. You can reach out to the mother, Mrs. Georgia Hill. You can email me at recoverydiaries at gmail.com. Call the police station. Let's let us let us get some answers. I, I'm frustrated. I can't sleep. Last night I could not sleep at all thinking about this poor woman. Today is 30 days. All I can do is I could just, just keep praying for this woman. Pray for Shiki to come home. And pray for whoever hurt her. Justice will be served to you. Believe that. What's done in the dark always comes to light. You know that shit. Thank you.